fifth grade lesson 10 and this is on missing add-ins okay now let's review what an add-in is again do you remember not very well do you remember what the answer to an adding problem is called starts with an s some. Very good. Some. Okay? And these right here are called add-ins. Okay? Did you remember that? So if I did 4 plus 2 equals 6, the 4 and the 2 are add-ins, and the sum is 6. Okay? Now, let's do subtraction. For example, 15 minus something equals 7. Okay? Now, I'm going to just put a letter in here. W. I could have chosen N, S, T, L, N, whatever. Okay? So, I've chosen W, okay, which just means um, what's the answer. Okay? Now, this is called an equation in math. Okay? Mm -hmm. And do you see that right there? We're going to try to figure out what is that missing number. Okay, Eli? So we're going to set this up going down. 15 minus W equals 7. Do you see how that's the same thing? Yes. Do I write this? Yes. Okay. Do you see how this is the same thing as that? Mm hmm I just wrote one vertically and one horizontally. Okay. Now, do you know what to do when you have a missing add in. You know what to do? You're going to always subtract. What do you subtract? The numbers you do have. Okay? And whenever you're working with subtraction, you always have to subtract from the biggest number. So we're going to take our biggest number, 15, and we're going to use our other number that we have, minus 7. So what is the answer? 7, and let's count to 15. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I get 8 as my answer. Okay? Now, let's check it to see if we are right. We think the answer is 8. Right, Eli? Mm -hmm. W equals 8. Does W really equal 8? Well, let's try. Is 15 take away 8? Does that equal 7? Does it? Well, yes. 7. That means we are right. Good job. Okay? That means we got it right. All right, let me try another one. 24 plus, and I'm just going to choose M. 24 plus M equals 37. What do we do when we have a missing add-in? We multiply the two multiple no, 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 numbers. No, 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 no. Subtract. Subtract. Okay? We subtract. What do we subtract? The two numbers we do have. Add-ins. But which one goes? Well, this one's not an add-in. This one's the sum. We just subtract the two that we do have. You always subtract with the biggest number on top. Okay, so we have to put 37 minus the other number that we have, 24. Okay, so now we're going to count 4 to 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, we get 3, 2, 3, we get 1. So our answer is 13. Is that right? Let's try. M equals 13, we said. Okay, so let's put a 13 in here. Is that right, Elon? Yes. 4 plus 3 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. Did we get it right? Yes, we did. Okay, now, let me tell you this. And I want you to really pay attention. 24 plus M equals 37. If you forget, what am I supposed to do to get this answer? Here's what I want you to do. Tell me when you're ready. If you get here and you forget, what am I supposed to what am I supposed to do to get an M? I can't remember if I'm supposed to add or if I'm supposed to subtract or what I'm supposed to do. Here's what I want you to do. 
Look at the biggest number. Where's which one's my biggest number? 37. 37. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Star it for just a moment. Okay? And then you're going to ask yourself this. Do I need a bigger number? Excuse me. Do I need a bigger number here than 37? Or do I need a smaller number? Now, now think with me. Do I need a bigger number than this or a smaller? Now stay with me. Okay? And we're going to check mark which one's the right. If I have 37 here, do I need bigger here? Well, let's just say I chose 40, something bigger, to go here. Would 40 plus 24 more give me 37? No. It's too big, right? So I don't need a bigger number. I need a smaller number. Okay? Now stay with me. In order to get a smaller number, would I add things together? Eli, I need you to stop. I know you know the answer. I'm not asking for the answer. I'm asking you for this right now. Okay? So I know I need a smaller number. And in order to get a small number, do I add things together to get something small? Or do I take away something to make it small? Uh, you would add. Okay, well, let's try that. If I have two of these and I keep adding another one, does it make it more and bigger, a bigger number? Yeah, okay? But if I have three of these and I subtract, do I get smaller amounts if I subtract from that? So in order to get a smaller number, I have to subtract. Do you get that? Okay, if mm -hmm. I have two, two fists, and I take away one, do I have a smaller amount or a larger amount? Smaller. Uh-huh. Okay. If I have two fingers and I add two more fingers, add, do I get a smaller amount or a bigger amount? Bigger. Okay. So adding makes bigger amounts. Subtracting makes smaller amounts. So if I want a smaller number, do I need to add or subtract? Subtract. Very good. Okay. And what am I going to subtract? These two numbers. The new two numbers we have. So let's do that. Which one do I start with? The biggest number. 37 minus 24. And we've already answered this a while ago, but let's want to answer it again. I would get 13. Let's put 13 back in there. And yes, and yes, we are right. Do you understand? So if you forget which one you're supposed to do, am I supposed to add here or am I supposed to subtract here to get the missing number? Always look at the biggest number and ask yourself that question. Got it? Do I need a bigger number or a smaller? And how do you get bigger numbers? Add. And how do you get smaller numbers? Subtract. Very good. All right. Now, let's try a little bit harder, although it's not terribly hard. Okay? Here's what it says. 15 plus, write this down, 20 plus 6 plus W equals 55. Now, this is all one big problem. 15 plus 20 plus 6 plus W equals 55. Okay, what should I do first? Do you know? Um, what should my very first step be? Add up the numbers you have? Yes! Let's go and add up these. Yep, that's exactly what I would do. Okay, what is 20 plus 15? 35. 35 plus 6 more? 35, 36, 41. 41. Okay, so all three of these numbers equals 41, right? Okay, you are exactly right. Now, if you needed to perform that over here, you can do that, okay? And get 41 if you needed to perform these three, okay? So I'm going to erase this. Watch what happens. And 41 is our answer. So now we get 41 plus what equals 55? Um, How are you going to perform this? You would add or add up to 55 from Yes, 41. which was really subtraction. So what you're doing is going 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, right? 
That's actually subtracting because you would be doing this. 41 adding up to that, right? 41, 42, 43, 44, okay? Now, but let's do it in our mind like this, Eli. Look at our biggest number, 55. Do I need a bigger number than 55 here, Eli? In this W spot or a smaller number? Smaller. I need smaller. How do I get small? Subtraction. Subtraction. So we're going to take our biggest number on top minus our smaller number. Okay? 55 and 41. All right. And 5 take away 1 would give us? 4. 5 take away 4 would give us? Uh, 4. 1. 4 and add up to 5. Oh, one, yeah, you got it, okay? So that would give us 14. Are we right? We're saying that W equals 14. Always check. Don't ever say W equals 14 and not check it. So watch what I'm going to do. Does W equal 14? Well, let's try. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. Means we got it right. W equals 14. And that is lesson 10.